welcome to my unboxing and first look at something that we've kind of looked at before, but not quite. This is the Western Digital My Book Velociraptor Duo. So we've already had a look at their other dual drive Thunderbolt enclosure, which actually had green drives inside, which means you've got bigger capacity. So that one was a four terabyte model, whereas this one is only two terabytes of total capacity. But the big difference is this one, instead of those screen drives, which spin at a re around 5,400 RPM, has two drives that spin at re 10,000 RPM. So we're going to have more performance, faster response times, and lower capacity, but more performance and faster response times, which is what Thunderbolt is all about. So let's see what WD, I've already done my spiel, but let's see what they think. Dramatic performance, data protection, and daisy chain flexibility. Cool. Two terabytes, or up to two terabytes, depending on how you configure it. Two WD Velociraptor 10,000 RPM drives inside, compatible with OS X. 10, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to look at that when we open it up. Blazing speed from WD Velociraptor, 10,000 RPM drive, and revolutionary Thunderbolt interface. Okay, so we pretty much covered this. So let's open it up and have a look at what this one looks like compared to the other one that we did already unbox, and I am expecting it to look very similar. So we have a power brick. We have... Really? It includes a Thunderbolt cable, but not... Wait, yeah, it includes a Thunderbolt cable. Oh, that's awesome. Way to go, WD, for like manning up and including the cable with these expensive Thunderbolt products. Love it. Good show. Okay, moving right along. Oh, it says that right on the box. Had I not gone through the box so quickly, I might have noticed that it says Thunderbolt cable included and contents Thunderbolt cable. But I like surprises. That's half the fun of this unboxing channel. Like the surprise of not reading the box and then being surprised by things that shouldn't surprise us. Um, you know what we should do just for giggles, since I might not actually open the enclosure, is uh, we should go be surprised that we have a Western Digital Velociraptor. And we should see if, like, uh... Okay. So this is our Velociraptor. Let's just see if our Velociraptor is the same as their Velociraptor. But let's take a look at the at the enclosure first. So it's about the size of two three and a half inch drives. If you guys aren't sure of the scale, and uh, I would also love to do the traditional iPhone size comparison. I know it's been a while since I've pulled this out, but there you go, iPhone size comparison. So now y'all will know how big it is. Lots of cooling. You can see here there's passive ventilation going on in the bottom. Passive ventilation going on in the top. Heat does naturally rise, so you'll get cool air because these feet are so tall coming in through through the bottom of the enclosure and then up through the top. I wouldn't recommend running this on a soft surface, such as like on your bed next to your laptop, although usually that probably wouldn't come up, but I would recommend putting it down on a hard surface. Okay. At the back of, oh right, indicator LED there, it's hiding probably can't even see that on the camera, don't worry about it. On the back, you've got your power in, your Kensington lock, because this baby is valuable. You're going to want to lock that up if you're using it in public. Or as a store demo, you know. No, there's a valid reason for this. Um, two Thunderbolt ports, so these are pass-throughs, which means you can daisy-chain up to six of these, which would be just, oh, way too balling out. So that would be six times two terabytes potentially with the whole thing running in RAID 0 off a 10 gigabit per section thunder. You know, I wonder if I could convince WD to send me ten, uh, six of these. Probably not. Okay, let's have a look at the drives inside. So I'm expecting these to be regular Velociraptor drives. So you might as well look at the, that while I open it. So this is a two and a half inch drive. However, it is a thicker form factor drive. And it comes with a huge heat sink that allows it to stay cool and... Uh, and, and perform, you know, like it's 10,000 revolutions per minute that it, that it does. And here we go. A. So only use WD Velociraptor drives. Now, the other one was labeled only use green drives. I don't know if this is firmware locked or anything like that. But it's clearly nothing to do with the actual cooling capacity of the unit because they've taken their lowest power, um, coolest running drives and their highest power hottest running drives and they put them both in this enclosure so maybe i'm overthinking this but yes it just has this handy dandy pull tab and other than that it looks the same as our velociraptor down to the same part number two one terabyte velociraptors and now they're like um 
and other like dual raptors. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the WD My Book Velociraptor Duo. Remember, this is all about more performance and faster response times. This is a professional grade product. So if you were doing, for example, video editing, then you might want something like this because it will be something that you can portably take with you with your footage. You'll get, the, again, the response time that you get from the faster RPM drives and the capacity that you need that's not always on. For example, um, many modern notebooks that are equipped with Thunderbolt so you can get that storage and the speed and the... I think I've repeated myself a few times, so let's just finish up with... Um, I don't know, clowns. <laughs>